everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Belly here. I hope everyone is doing well today. In today's tutorial, I created a makeup look using the new Smashbox Covershot LA palette. And I also used another one of their Covershot palettes. It's the Pinks Plus Palms Eye Palette, which you will see in a little bit. But this is what the LA Covershot palette looks like. It's really, really gorgeous. The, the packaging is amazing. And I created this really smoked out matte brown eye look. And I also did a matte brown wing, which I've never done before. And I actually really like how it looks. It looks a little bit less harsh, but it does still give that cat eye effect. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is grabbing the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. And I just used that as a primer, so I just put that all over my eyelid. And then I went in with a damp beauty sponge to blend it out. And then I set that in place with some translucent powder. And then jumping right into the Covershot LA palette, I grabbed this light shimmery shade and I used that as my brow bone highlight. So I just put that all over my brow bone going in sweeping motions. And I personally like to do my brow bone highlight first because I like to blend my eyeshadows into my brow bone highlight. So that's why I do it first. And then I went into the Smashbox Cover Shot Pinks and Palms eyeshadow palette. Definitely don't have to don't uh, feel the need to go in with more than one palette. This is really excessive, but I just wanted a mix up of both colors, so I grabbed the two light pink shades from that palette, and I grabbed a fluffy brush, and I just put that in my crease as my transition shade, going in back and forth motions, focusing it a little bit above my actual crease. And then jumping back into the Cover Shot LA palette, I grabbed this matte red pink shade. And I grabbed a defined angled brush along with that and I just put that above my actual crease going in back and forth motions. And you guys already know why I like to use a defined angled brush because it really helps control the product and not bring it up too far. But do not worry, we're going to be blending it out right now. I went back into the Pinks Plus Palms eyeshadow palette, the cover shot one from Smashbox once again. And I grabbed the two light pink shades once again and I blended that directly over the line going in back and forth motions and then I jumped back into the LA cover shot palette and I grabbed this really dark matte brown shade with a defined angled brush once again and for these smoky looks I really like to build up the crease slowly so that's why you see me going back into the darker shades over and over and I'm just going in back and forth motions in my crease really focusing that line directly in the socket a little bit above my socket actually and then I went back into all the shades that we used previously. So I went in with that light red pink shade. And then I also went into those light pink shades as well. Just to really make everything nice and seamless. And to get rid of all those harsh lines. And then I went into the LA Cover Shop palette. And I grabbed this really beautiful terracotta brown shade. With a flat brush. And I started to pack that all over my eyelid. And I find that using a flat brush like this is the best thing to do when you're applying a matte color all over your lid. And also using your finger as well is going to help you get the most uh, payoff with the pigment. And next I went in with my Dose of Colors Set the Tone Cream Matte Eye Color in the shade Extra Baggage. And it's a very matte brown shade and I just created my wing with that liner. And I honestly love the way this turned out. I'm going to start using this shade more often. And for lashes, I went in with my Sophie Bella Bali Lashes. The link will always be in the description box below. For those of you guys that want to support our lash brand and check them out, highly recommend them. And then I went back into the red-pink shade from the LA Cover Shop palette, and I put that on my lower lashes, just going in back and forth motions. And then I went into the pink shades that we used in our crease. And then I just use that shade to smoke out everything that we just did on the lower lashes. And then the last thing that I did was I added some lower lash mascara. And this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to be entered in this month's giveaway, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. Make sure that you have your post notifications turned on. And then comment done down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I did. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.